Hey everyone, today's project is going to be a tire bead breaker. Mainly I'm going to build this for lawnmower tires, four wheeler tires, maybe small trailer tires. Um, I wanted to be able to go into the back of a receiver hitch and be able to put the tire on the ground like it's laying right now and just pull a lever and pop the bead. At least that's the idea. Um, I'm sure there's tons of those videos out there on YouTube. Uh, I haven't watched a single one of them, so I have no idea how everybody else is doing this, but um, I got this idea and I think I want to try to build it, so here we go. Going to start off with this square tube that's going to go in the receiver of the truck. I'm going to cut off that goofy looking small end and see where we go from there. Okay guys, I don't have a 5H drill bit, so I'm going to go ahead and give this step bit a try, see if it'll make its way through there. Let's give this one a try. Give this bit a try. Eventually I'm going to find one that'll work. If I made this right, it should fit. I was going to use two of these T-posts, but uh, found out those are hardened steel. Tried to cut through it and barely got any into it. I could cut it with a grinder, but it'll be really tough to drill a bunch of holes in it. So I'm going to switch over to some angle iron I got. Gonna mark some holes to drill in this. I think I'm gonna start about one inch from the bottom and then I'm gonna go every two inches and drill a hole. I'm going to have to change this to a couple different angles to get all these drilled, but I want to keep these clamped together so that the holes are perfectly aligned. We'll drill what we can and then we'll have to move it around a few times.
I've bolted these together like this at each end to keep them aligned while I weld them onto the square tubing. I've checked the alignment on this to make sure this hitch pin fits through all the holes and that the pipe fits in between the brackets all the way. I'm going to weld on a couple support braces here. Got a couple of these brackets I saved off an old snow plow. I think I'm going to weld them on the top and the bottom of the angle iron to keep it perfectly spaced. Got the truck half done, minus paint. Uh, I know in the video that bracket probably looks like it's almost touching the ground, but it's actually eight and a half inches off the ground. I wanted to have plenty of adjustments on this depending on the tire width that you're working with and the vehicle that you might put this in may be lower or higher than this truck. So I got about 22 inches of adjustment. That should work in most any situation that I could come up with. This is what I've come up with for the foot. I'm going to weld that hinge onto the bottom of the handle and weld uh, these pieces of rebar down to this piece of steel. I'm going to round the edges off and hopefully that'll be strong enough. Alright guys, time to test it out, see if it works. I've already let all the air out of this tire. Let's give it a go and see what happens. That worked pretty good actually. Let's give one of these small lawnmower tires a try. Well, uh, that did not work. 
All right, let's give it another shot. Well, I would say that that works pretty good. Now I have both pieces painted, just have to let them dry and it's all done.